Hello, I'm Henry Albert, Freightliner Team Run Smart Pro, and today I would like to discuss the Detroit Intelligent Powertrain Management, also known as IPM. Intelligent Powertrain Management knows the route ahead of your truck through pre-loaded maps and GPS. It will accelerate pre-select gears, use e-coast, and even manage your momentum with the engine brake to maximize efficiency. IPM will adjust to ensure the truck is carrying the most efficient momentum into the road conditions ahead through altering the DT12 shift strategy, engine torque output, e-coast, and even engine braking level in some cases. Since IPM is integrated with the cruise control, there are ideal driving situations and terrains where the fuel efficiency will become the most beneficial. Also, the more time you spend in cruise control, the more effectively IPM can work with you to save fuel. This being said, it's also very important to know when to use IPM because a lot of other vehicles on the road do not have this advanced cruise control, you have to understand how it works. So we will say that you are setting the cruise control at 65 mile per hour. When you have it set at 65 mile per hour, on the dashboard it will say cruise set 62 to 68. And on some of the newer models it'll say 65 plus 4. What that means is when you're climbing a hill, which I'll show by this piece of paper, and you're climbing up the hill, if the truck gets to the top part of the hill and it's above 62 mile an hour, it will roll into e-coast and let the momentum of the truck bring it back up to 65. This saves a lot of fuel by doing this. Once it gets up to 65, it will slip the truck back into gear because it takes a certain amount of fuel to idle an engine. This allows it to cut the fuel completely off. If the case of the hill lets the truck get back up to 68 mile an hour through momentum, it will re-engage the throttle at 68 and preserve that momentum for the beginning of the next hill, managing your momentum. Once again, getting up near the top of the hill, it'll roll into e-coast and let the momentum carry the truck over the top of the hill. Where this is important to know how it interacts with other trucks and cars, if you have a truck with a traditional cruise control right behind you and you're climbing up the hill, and right at the top, yours rolls out of the throttle, he's going to dodge out around you. As soon as that truck gets up beside you, you are in they're dirty air. Then maybe they make it all the way by you, maybe they don't. Then you hit e-coast, you start accelerating. This causes a turtle race, which ends up irritating many times both drivers and anyone else behind them. All you need to do to eliminate that situation is right at the top of the hill when that sort of a situation presents itself, barely put your foot on the throttle and it will override the feature to eliminate you aggravating yourself and your neighbor and the other motorists around you. When you have this system out and you're completely on your own, which is really when you should ideally be using cruise control, it could be argued that cruise control shouldn't be used in heavy traffic, certainly shouldn't be in construction zones. So when you're out there and you're out on a nice road and you're on cruise control and you're in rolling hills, the way this manages the momentum of the truck leads to extraordinary fuel savings with a very minimal impact in your estimated time of arrival through the loss of just rolling the top of the hills. We all think this adds up to a lot of time that we've got to be powering all the way through. In reality, there isn't that much difference of the person who finishes last in a race from the person who's first in a race being we're not actually running the race when we're delivering freight with our trucks and safety and fuel efficiency should be the lead parameters that we're answering to, the few minutes that it would save is not worth the benefits of that time.
So think of IPM as a momentum management system and use it to your best benefit. I hope this helps to understand IPM, Intelligent Power Training Management. Be safe.